Uh, like everything else, you do watch every performer. Uh, you watch television shows like you do. I know you, you have to watch everything and program it, but you never see it like when you're in this business and you're working every night. You never see it when it goes out. No, thank heavens for video. Oh, sure. Uh, so therefore, you know, you've got to play it back and you never see it at the right time. I mean, I watch The Sky Night in the Morning and Good Morning Britain at night. <laughs> Open University when it's closed and play away when it's gone. <laughs> the late, late breakfast show early next morning. Hello, hello, and everybody said goodbye. Midweek sports special on Wednesday, weekend world on Friday, this week, next week, Pebble Mill at 1 at 4 and news at 10 at 3 a.m. So that's as far as I get. I don't get any news. What a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> but it, it has to be like that, doesn't it? That's, now, that's you're famous for that. If there's a Ted Rogers trademark, to my mind, it's a routine like that where you simply bring out a tongue twister. Yeah, maybe that's going back again to the early Danny Kaye thing. That's right. And I always remember his wonderful... And I used to have to learn that. Oh, do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. I used to love all that. Is that good or is that good? Yeah. Oh, great. It, 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 was a, it was a lot to learn that, so maybe I've had good schooling. But you do some great tongue twisters. I've, I've heard you do some good ones. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm giving you the old moody again, but it's true. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, folks. Oh, uh, come on. You can do a bit better than that, Robert. Well, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, uh, I don't see how you can improve on that. Of course you can. Well, under your tuition. Walk this way. All right. If I could walk that way, you'd need... <laughs> Ready? Everybody's heard of Peter Piper. Oh, of course we have. And the peck of pickle peppers that he picked. Ah, that's such a silly, simple children's game. Ted, it hasn't even got a name. Ah, but Bob, I'd like to bet that it'll trip him. Oh, no, I'd like to bet you that you'll have to show you lick. Uh, now, with Peter, Peter Piper, Piper, I can pronounce that with ease. Twist your tongue around these. Around what? Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. For Moses, he knows his toes ain't roses, as Moses supposes his toes to be. That's a tongue twister. Wow. And it seems so easy to work and sprung. Well, if you insist, listen, I'll try your list. So step aside, Ted, while I twist my tongue. Kissel will whistle and bust it, Miss Russell, who bristle and bustle till Kissel will roar. So Russell will ask Axel the Kissel's dismissal, and that'll whistle to whistle. Wait a second. That's a tongue twister. It seems so easy till you twist your tongue. Yes, do one. Tito and Tom. Tato was tattooed in Toto, but Toto was only tattooed on his toe. So Tato to Tito, where Toto was tattooed, but Tito said Toto's tattoo to wouldn't show. That's and very that's good. Enough. Let me try again. One more chance. Thea thought Thora was thumping a thimble, but Thea thought Thora was thumping a drum. Said Thea, if Thea's not thumping a thimble, I think that she surely is thumping a thump. That's a tongue. That's a tongue. Hey, and it seems so easy till the word gets sprung. If you insist, you want to try this list. Step up, Mr. M, twist your tongue. Take now, Charlie is charing when choosing his cheeses, and cheese is a challenge when Charlie arrives. Well, Charlie is charming and chooses the cheddar, and chews it, and chips it, and chops it, and chives. Well, Hedder is hoping to hop to Tahiti, to hack a tabiscus, to hang on a hand. Now, Hedder has hundreds of hats on the hat racks, a hack and a hat. To the hitty help that. Snobby be snoring, sniffing a snuff, but the snuff is no sniff, and it makes Nora sneeze. But smart must know that the snore is sneezing. She snappily smells Nora sneeze in the breeze. Well, Sheila is selling her shop at the seashore, for shops at the seashore are so sure to lose. Now, she's not sure what she should be selling. Should Sheila sell seashells or should she sell shoes? That's a time. Now I got it. And it seems so easy till the word gets sprung. If you insist you want to try a little, step up, Mr. And with your twist of a twistle was trying to whistle, but twist of a twist in his tongue. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for joining us on this uh, comedy workshop and in particular for listening to me learning how to tongue twist. Well, there's nobody who does it better uh, than my special guest, Ted Rogers. Join me again next week and we'll have some more special guests and some more laughs on the Bob Monkhouse Show. See you then. Bye -bye.